Hi, what's up guys? Frank here and today I wanted to show you uh, my upload process, how I upload my designs on Amazon Merch, okay? So uh, I've been on Amazon Merch for about two years now and uh, I learned a few things along my journey so I want to show you how I upload on Amazon. So first of all, uh, yeah, I've been on Amazon for two years and my first year I haven't made that much money on the first year and it's like as you can see here the stats here most of the money that I made is mostly this year in uh, 2022 and um, 2021 was most like was uh, a year where I was doing it like on the side a side thing that I was doing and uh, I put I didn't put that much of my focus on it but but most of the, most of the money that I made was in 2022, and so I'm just gonna sh just to get, gonna give you an idea, okay? As you can see, you can see some of my numbers here. Um, I don't consider myself like a big professional, like you probably some YouTuber have way bigger numbers than me, but it's just to give you an idea, okay? So yeah, I hope that helps you. And uh, as you can see here, first of all, okay, um, this is Pretty Merch, okay, that's an add-on that can use. It's a like a third-party thing that you can use. It's free. I, rec I recommend using it, okay. I don't even use the pro version. I use the free version. Uh, I know that the I think the the pro version gives you like better analytics and uh, you know just a better search product search or whatever. So I don't I use the free version. And um, it's good enough for me, okay? So yeah, to and to show you my upload process, I'm going to use the designs that I did in my first video, which is uh, this design, okay? I can tie up plan in the garage, and then uh, it's actually two designs, okay? I have the black one and also the white one. I I usually upload both at the same time, okay? So let's go right in. So what I do is I actually open two windows. Okay, I had uh, new products here, and I open two windows. And what I do is that I just uh, upload the black one on the first one, and then I upload the other one on the other window. So as you can see here, I have the black design here. And then I have the white design on the other one. Okay, so the first thing that I do, okay, my my default settings, I did it um, so that it works well on black designs. So that, you, as you can see here, like um, it, it like the the lighter colors are, are checked up. So what I do on the white design is that I actually choose the darker colors. Okay. So that I, I, I like most colors that sell for the white design are the black, the black t the black color and the navy t-shirt. Okay, and then uh, for the black design, I usually choose mostly the most important is the white t-shirt, the white color, and the gray, the gray color. Okay, sometimes I will sell other colors, but those are the main colors uh, that sell. Okay, so that's basically what it is. And uh, sometimes, okay, when I upload uh, design that are related to, let's say, casinos, that are related to guns, that are related to some kind of violence, uh, it's important to uncheck, to uncheck youth, okay? Because uh, Amazon will deny, will reject your design. If you if you check youth, and let's say, for example, that you have. Uh, like some kind of violence or some kind of uh, drug on your t-shirt it will get denied anyway so make sure that if you have such a design to remove youth for from both uh, from both listings okay so this one is okay okay it says I can't have fun in the garage it's okay for you so you, you just make sure that it's checked on okay so that's pretty much what it is, okay? And uh, when I upload a new design, I, s I only upload the standard T-shirt for the US market, okay? Everything else, I don't check anything, okay? When it's a new design, that's what I do. I only check for the standard T-shirt for the US market, that's all, okay? Especially when you're starting, you don't have that much room for that much design, so you just, you just uh, select the minimum amount of products 
So that's basically what I do. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So yeah, only this this standard T-shirt, and then you simply scroll down to um, the title, brand, and bullet points and description. Here, I just have some a default thing that I set up. So sometimes, like if I don't find anything, sometimes I will keep this text here. It's just it's just some generic text that I keep here. So here, what I do is that. I uh, usually usually I find I find my design on uh, flying research. So what I usually do is that I, op I open both uh, the flying research page and also the Amazon page. Okay. So basically here it's it's a co pretty cool page because you can see like cool keywords that you can use here for uh, for your for your de for your description. And also you can see also here you can see the title that the person used for his design so you know you actually know that this that this design here this listing is very successful like it has a lot of ratings so this guy that has this listing is probably making bank okay so you know that the keywords that he used and everything that he used is on point so it makes sense to like like inspire yourself from 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 this so what I usually do is that I would you like since since this one is a text-based design I usually copy the title so I can't have fun in the garage so I just put it in the title and what I usually do is that I make sure that I make the punctuation and then this person here chose this okay in this case, it's a really good listing, okay? But sometimes what I will usually do is that I will open a new page, okay? And I will simply search on Google for other listings, okay? So I'm just going to show you, like, I, usually, I, I try to search Amazon listings as much as possible because I'm uploading on Amazon. So I'm just opening, like, the few, just a few listings. Just to get, you see, that's another listing. It has some cool uh, bullet points. This one doesn't have good bullet points, but you can also you can still use the title. Uh, this one doesn't have cool bullet points. So I'm not gonna use it. And this one doesn't have any bullet points. Okay, so, because sometimes you will open the listing like this, and sometimes this one has good. As good bullet points, but sometimes you will not get any bullet points. So it's it's cool sometimes to just make some Google research, get more listings, and if you don't even get Amazon listings, you can also get some Redbubble listings to get some some ideas of uh, what to to get for description. And as you can see here, this description is not that good. But you know the idea is to is to get multiple listings so that you have an idea of what to, to get, okay? So in this case, what I'm going to write, okay, I'm going to um, take this and I'm going to decide to write car guy mechanic, okay? I'm not going to put an S, I just decide not to do it. Okay, that's for the title. And then for the brand, I simply copy the design. And since the brand, you have to, you have, less character I simply remove some words from the title okay so I would do something like this okay and then for the bullet points what I usually do is that I choose bullet points from the listing that I that I have here okay and uh, for example I, I think this one is pretty cool this this uh, bullet point so what I usually do is that I would simply uh, literally copy copy paste the bullet point okay and so as you can see I just removed this I remove I removed this part because I, I don't really like it so I'm just gonna remove it and what I usually do is that the product description and one of the bullet point I I use the same so basically the bullet point number two in the product description I always make the same thing okay it's just something that I do and uh, it's simpler for me okay so basically at the end I just I just use the title. The title and the brand is basically the same thing. And then I simply 
uh, choose two bullet points because one of the bullet points becomes also my description okay so this here I made the description and the uh, bullet point number two the same text okay and so basically right now I just need to choose another bullet point okay so sometimes what I will do okay I will simply put the title also as a bullet point okay and uh, since this one has multiple good bullet points I could I could take that one this one looks great um, I could I could also take another one you know I could take this one as well I'm actually going to, to, to take this one because I want to show something okay sometimes you will get bullet points that has um, t-shirt okay so what I usually do is that I remove the, the words that are not right okay because some words some Amazon does not recom recommend to remove some kind of uh, words everything related to t-shirt hoodie they don't recommend using these uh, these words because they use the sign bullet points for all these products so if you write t-shirt and then when you select for example like uh, a foam case it doesn't make sense to have the the, the, the keyword so what I usually do is that I will replace the word shirt for T or maybe sometime I will do design funny design so instead of having like funny t-shirt for man I will simply put let's say design funny design for men and women okay so that's just something that I do I, rem I make sure that my bullet points are are cool right and as you as you can see I I usually I, us I usually choose my bullet points from other listings because you know these listings they're doing great so it makes sense for me to simply like take the same bullet points and change it in my own way to make sure that the, it it does it like it follows the regulations or whatever okay so I don't feel bad because it's it's already on Amazon and up, I'm uploading on Amazon so I don't really feel bad for example let's say that this this listing is from Redbubble and let's say that for example this uh, description would be great I usually avoid to do that because then this description this bullet point comes from Redbubble and then I would feel bad doing it because you know when it, if it comes from Amazon I'm just selling back on Amazon so I mean for me I've never had any problem with it so I just do it anyway okay so yeah and then since we have two listing I, I basically copy paste everything okay so here I'm putting the same title I'm putting the same brand and then I just copy the bullet points there you go and then this is pretty much what I would do okay that's pretty much what I would do for my upload process okay this is a new this is two new designs that I would upload on Amazon and that's basically what I would do and uh, and yeah that's that's pretty much it for my upload designs I mean uh, that's for me it's quite simple it's um, it's quite simple it's qu it's quite quick as well so that's basically what I do and uh, I hope that it helps you in your print on demand uh, journey okay so let me know if you have any questions